today. PR for 36 months. Just 500 purchase allowance on most 2021 Cadillac models. Um, we're going to have parents bringing home their infection. Um, we're going to have parents bringing home their infections to little kids. So yeah, this is a this is a real concern, and why I've been saying, look, if this during this terrible Omicron wave, which is so much transmission going on, let's not be too uh, ambitious at this point. If we need to tack on a few extra weeks in the school year as we head into the summer, that might be a, a more preferable option. But um, I, I really do have a lot of empathy and sympathy for parents right now with little kids. Dr. Hortez, thank you so much, as always. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the difference between campaigning topping our national lead today, several large school districts in the Commonwealth of Virginia are already pushing back against an executive order from the new governor, Governor Glenn Youngkin, making good on his campaign promise, ordering all schools to allow parents to make the decision about if their child wears a mask or not in class. Fairfax and Enrico County saying, no thanks informing families Sunday night that masks will still be required for students and teachers. Our Eva McKen joins me. Eva, how is the uh, brand new governor responding to this? Well, Poppy, he's resolute. The crux of the executive order, just four pages, argues masks among kids in schools provides inconsistent health benefits. Governor Youngkin maintains many children wear them improperly or are wearing cloth masks that aren't even clean. And this is to the great frustration of some parents. One telling me a mass mandate should not be a political ping pong. Schools in Northern Virginia and the Richmond region saying, hey, you want kids in school? Mass young people ran on the stage shoes, so we are confused. The people of Virginia spoke, and this increased agency for parents is what the voters wanted to take a look at this center.